Well, I don't know about you guys, but this is not the barbecue I had in mind for the Super Bowl. Alright guys, well, as you guys can see, we have quite the mess here this morning. It is, uh, well, I say barbecue and Super Bowl because yesterday when we originally got this call, it was Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, but we decided with the traffic and everything uh, that it would be better and safer to deal with this in the morning, uh, being the next morning. But yeah, like I was saying, this is definitely not the barbecue I was anticipating, but this is what we got. So as you guys see, we have a tractor and trailer rolled over on its side, uh, burnt, and all the load is strewn out across the ground here. The uh, fire department needed everything basically pulled out of the trailer by that loader there to put out the fire because this is all very flammable, like paper towels basically, like some sort of cloth. That's basically what was in the load. There are a few other little things. Easter eggs, as you guys see here. There's a bunch of miscellaneous. It was an Amazon load, so a little hodgepodge, but for the most part, it was this stuff. Um, so we are being tasked with removing just the, uh, basically metal. The load's gonna stay here. Caltrans will take care of that. And our job is to get the carcass of that burnt semi out of here. As you guys see, we are here working in the center divider, so we aren't really a traffic hazard, which is nice. It's a nice flat level area. We're able to set the trucks out on. We got service truck here with the dump trailer just to pick up some of the miscellaneous smaller items, the rotator, and then we have one Landall here. We got one more coming, so that'll make two Landalls to basically take the entirety of this carcass. Uh, yeah, so. We're gonna go ahead and get to work here. I will take you guys along for the ride. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and thank you for tuning in. All right, so it sounds like the first order of business is we're gonna flip this over and essentially we're gonna try to unload as much of this cargo as we can and take just the carcass. So it sounds like we're gonna flip it over and then we are gonna probably split this at some point right there. So essentially taking this trailer out in two pieces and the tractor out in the other. All right, I'm gonna get the rotator alongside the trailer here. Probably gonna end up single lining the, the truck just to be a lot easier to work with. We're not dealing with a lot of weight here. They saturated it so much that it wouldn't burn. Yeah. It's like some fancy face cleaner, yeah, face cleaner. Yeah, that's what it looks like, huh? It's pretty much all it is. There's like Easter eggs in there, yeah, some, all that too. and there's some just like miscellaneous candles. It looks like candles. What is it? Candles. Oh really? It has a solar thing. They were candles, I think. I see all the liquid in like they were melting. You know, oh yeah, the wax. Alright. So where are you uh, you going to the tandem? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you worried about continuing to kind of just roll on that back frame? What's it's, that? It's you know what I mean like it's we start bringing it up, it's gonna pivot on that. That's fine, that'll help. Back corner. That'll, that'll Are help you worried it. about it once it comes over though to keep going? I don't think it will. Alright, tighten it up, Mark.
<laughs> Open the gate, please. Should have rigged that up. Yeah. Try to bring it back down or what? Might as well just let it back down, right? Yeah. Might as well just let it back yeah, down. Why you got it here? Why use the chop saw though? Oh, okay. Right here. Would, we need to cut it here. Uh, I said we need to cut it while it's in this yeah, position. Yeah, I know. Cut, it, cut it right there, yeah, all the way down. Yeah. It's already actually already broken down here, okay. so it might be easier if you go up there. I'm gonna go, uh, maybe if we go like somewhere there between the two frame rails on one chain and then the others over here, and then we go like this. Yeah, like basically what you did here, but like this up and down. Okay. So that way, once it comes upright again, then we can go straight up with it. What blade is on there? Is it just like an anything blade? Because I got all kinds of blades. I don't know which would be better for that wood. Wood with nails. I mean, I'm sure it cut it. I know that these are wood. It looks a little different. Yeah. A little bit. I don't know if I can try it. These are both wood blades. I think that one's probably metal. But he wants to cut the metal, right? Oh, I, I, don't, I thought he wanted to cut the wood because it was making all that smoke. Whatever, I'll bring these. We can see if that works. Uh-oh. Tell them to stop cutting. I bet you it was buried in there. Yeah. Over, over 24 hours ago, this fire was put out. Still smothering. No, we got a couple little fires. Huh? Yeah, that thing's still hot. Huh? There was something on fire over there. Yeah, well, plus I was doing this cutting. Got on there. Now. So, are you through up there, Dad? Huh? Did you cut through yet, or I no? Cut right here. So. Okay. Open the gate, please. A different one, or? Oh. I'll try to see if it'll break, or? Huh? You want to put some pressure on it, see yeah, if it'll break? Well, you got the lip, so I can cut to that. It's at the very middle, so. Okay. Um, you got it strapped for uh, the right way now? Yeah. Do you want to set it down on a block, or just, you want to set it on a block or something, or? I know, just, just keep going, let's see what happens here. Let's 
Sweet. Exactly what we wanted. It's not as long. Cut that off. Uh, we can whack that off over there or something. Well, actually, I think that's gonna fall off. Got There's it. nothing holding it right now. All right. If you go, go this way with the way from the truck, it needs to be. All right, everyone clear? Try to rotate. Yep. Huh? I don't want that back piece to fall on the truck. I know. It's this yeah, piece. Like one little clip hanging and holding that. Back. That's what's hung up is this panel. What is it? This panel back here is still hung up in the load. And that's it's keeping us hung up here.
So what? I'm sorry. Use the loader to just push this piece into okay. here. What do you? Uh, I mean, we need to consolidate ourselves yeah. a little bit here, I think, right? Well, we can use the loader to um, probably push those walls down. Huh. I'm like thinking folding the whole thing over, like onto it. So like use the loader to push it down. We just need to cut that. Right. Yeah. We just cut that and then use the loader just to fold it down onto it. So. Uh, come back on it. There you go, right there. Go ahead, keep going down with it. Probably just lift it all right here. Yeah. Uh, I got to disconnect anyway, so. I'll come and just. All right. Something on fire? Smoldering. I'd rather upright it and set it because I was a pain in the ass last time. It was like two hours of extra work having to get all that out of there. Huh? Say that again? Huh? Well, but we'll yeah, collapse them saying, Pushing this over and collapsing it all together. Uh huh. But then this, when you go to pick it up, this wall is probably going to stay on the ground. I was going to put a chain under the corner. Anyway, must be snagged. That's what I was thinking. Watch your fingers there. Slide down a little bit. That's what I want to do, but it sounds good. That's what, yeah, that's what I want to do. Hey, Dad. 
I'm just, I'm still, I'm still confused. Why, why don't we put it on its wheels and then collapse the walls into it like that? Well, either, it, you can, but it'd be easier to lift this way and down. Just because there's way. nothing. If uh, we, it's gonna just stay put, right? Unless we put straps. Yeah. Because if we upright, then gravity would be keeping the walls down. I mean, I would say it'd be better to upright it now. What's up? Oh, you're gonna have him upright it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we just had the loader upright this thing. Now we'll just have to smash all the walls in and should be chilling. <laughs> That's it, that's all I can. No, I'm out. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all you got? Yeah. I mean, we're not even on over here. It's, it's not gonna work. It's uh, still resting on the siding. either have them push it this way or I can drag it with the drag winch. have that landing gear that we can set on top. We have that landing gear we can set on top too. Do we want to whack that? First put the landing gear on top of this piece. Uh, either that or we collapse, we just kind of coordinate and throw it in the back of the dump trailer. We can roll it. Yeah. I mean, it started to. I think it's, it's gonna be kind of hard to get it up there, I think. I have to, dra I have to drag it to me a little bit. I can, uh, once I get it up, I'll tilt it.
Watch your fingers. I said, watch your fingers. There's glass in here, broken glass. Try to just lift on blue. I said I can try to just lift on blue. Where's Mark? Clear. Oh. the loader come and push all this out of the way. I lift it and swing it this way and right on to Jonathan. Yeah. All right, we're gonna work on the tractor now. Are we rigged up or are we, do we have chains rigged up or not? Yeah. go to that side and pull that chain on this uh, chain over it? yeah like on this side of the, the front of the trailer uh, Mark maybe has it
think I'm gonna want the bridles for that. I'm thinking uh, we could probably do those 10 foot chains under, one in the front, one on the back of the tandems and then just hook the bridles into them. Johnny boy, Jonathan, do you wanna climb up here and uh, hook me the bridles into these? Yeah. They're in a milk crate up here, you'll see them. Two bridles. Run it under there and into the frame. Let me grab that side. Get into the frame of the truck? Yeah, somewhere in the truck. Got it. Is that closed all the way? There it goes. All right, status update. We got the tractor loaded up, obviously. And now we have the trailer. As you guys probably saw, Jonathan is here in truck 20, parked over there in the distance. So I think the goal here is the loader's gonna push this out of the way a little bit. And that way we can get truck 18 backed straight back and out of the way. And then we'll pull Jonathan in place. So he's on this side, back the rotator right up to this guy, lift, swing, set. That is the plan. So far, so good. Everything's going pretty smooth. Okay, you guys are probably gonna wanna walk the, the back one. Take that over, or under, I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Everyone hooked in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, let's see. Can we get this a little bit further forward? Park. What happened? Yeah. I, mean, I can lower it. Let's do the, chain out? Yeah, well, let's uh, hook the bridle into the, the blue chain. There you go. All right, where's Mark? All right, watch fingers. Yeah, there we go. Oh.
Yep, thank you. Jonathan, can you push that so it's in the confines of the trailer? Yep, just a little bit, not much. Just try to get it squared up. There you go. All right, just watch yourself. That's kind of barely hanging on there. We're gonna have to throw chains or straps over those. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, I mean, straps over this would probably be more ideal, but then we'll do something with that landing gear and that nose section. All right, guys, well, as you see, we are in tow with our uh, barbecue here. We're gonna take it back to the yard, offload it, and hope we get paid. That's the name of the game. Uh, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. We will see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in.